My name is Kate Keeley and I'm an artist here at the Foundry. I make all different kinds of art, but I'm really most known as a painter. And I have been with the Foundry for, I think, about three years. I grew up on a farm south of Hagerstown. I was in love with nature and the animals that I took care of on our farm. So I went to college and got a degree in biology and also art because I thought I was going to be a medical illustrator. But I found out I was a kind of more of a creative artist. So I went to grad school for art. And while in grad school, I started teaching. And I love teaching. It also afforded me the opportunity to continue to make art and make a living at the same time. So I make art because I love it. And this series of paintings I started about 20 years ago. The idea came from teaching. I was teaching ancient art history. And with ancient art history, I have to learn all these kind of mythologies. And after doing these mythologies a number of times, it occurred to me, why couldn't I just make up my own mythology? So I kind of used that as a basis, and I came up with my own mythological creature, which is called a rainbow bird. Sometimes people don't see the birds right away because they're slightly abstract. Some of them have, have more, um, realistic features. They range from pretty representational to abstract to almost non-objective in some of the paintings. So I, I knew my mythological uh, figure would have to be a creature. I'm more interested in animals than anything else. And I knew I could make up an animal, but it had to be relatively close to nature because I found my best work is a variation on something that already exists. Another reason I love movement in my paintings, and the birds give you the opportunity to do figures in all different positions. And the other thing I love is negative space. So I could use the sky and that creature as a basis for um, mythological stories. Uh, living things have a tendency to, to have inherent flaws and a significant aspect of mythology is the kind of positive and negative aspects of the stories. One thing I wanted to do was introduce something into the story of the creature that would be seen as maybe a flaw, but also afford me a way to have the creature shift and have some unusual poses and also unusual environments in association that might be considered a flaw. So the bird is actually blind. It flies like a bat. And so if you look at the creatures that I've made in the paintings, you can see that they don't have eyes. They just have a cavity where the eye would be. So I had to have a kind of social function because they are in an environment where humans exist. But one of the things about mythology is creatures often move between one realm and another. So I thought, well, okay, one major aspect of these creatures could be that they lead humans, especially children, from this realm to the next when they pass away. So that's one of the main functions of the bird in mythology. Well, one thing that's happened as I've made many paintings is um, the opportunity, that, if you're calling them rainbow birds, they can be in many different colors or kind of shifting color. So that gives me a lot of range with that. Um, I also have been able to have fun with different aspects of the story, with different environments, kind of nesting images or images of them coming out of light. One great gift um, teaching has given me it's taught me so much more about what viewers see. And if you're making art because you want to communicate an idea, or at least a general aspect for people to focus on, and the only way to understand about communication is to understand what the viewer sees. And after teaching for so many years, I'm constantly surprised about what people actually notice in our artwork. And by constantly talking to students of all different ages, I've learned a lot about um, how and what people see in an image. I believe it's made me into a better artist.
So come by and see my Spotlight Gallery show. It'll be up until November 20th. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.